Hi, welcome to your autumn equinox workout. My name is Jennifer and I will be leading you through this full Zen bar class where we will work your entire body from head to toe using small isometric pulses and movements. This workout is intended to be used during the beginning of an autumnal equinox or any equinox for that matter as it will focus on balance and grounding. The oil I've decided to use for this particular workout is frankincense. And as frankincense is an oil that you shouldn't necessarily put directly on the skin, I have put it on this little diffuser bracelet here, which has lava stones. And this way I can smell the oil as I'm doing my workout, and it also infuses itself into my skin at the same time. Frankincense is a very balancing and grounding workout. In this work, oh, excuse me, oil, and this workout is all about balance and grounding. So we're gonna start with our warm up, which we're gonna do, be doing a variety of sun salutations to start warming up the muscles and the body. And then we will move on to the lower body section of our workout, upper body, core and mat work, and we'll finally finish with a yoga cool down. Thank you so much for joining me for this autumnal equinox workout, our workout. So let's start off with some sun salutations. We're going to inhale up nice and long and strong. Exhale forward fold. I'm bending my knees. I'm going to inhale to a half lift. And then I'm going to bring my hand down to a plank position. Lower myself down. Upward facing dog. And then I'm going to pop into a downward facing dog. I'm going to step my right leg forward, my left leg forward, and I'm going to stand. So we're going to do about five. I'm going to turn on the side so you can see. Inhale up, exhale fold, inhale half lift, exhale bring yourself down to a plank position, keeping nice and long and strong. Lower yourself down to an upward facing dog. Tuck the heels under, push yourself into downward dog. Now. I want you to bring your left leg forward. We're just going to be doing some very small movements here to open up the hips. If it's too much for you to move through this motion, just hold. Now we're going to switch legs. So bring it back to plank and bring the opposite leg forward for a few small little bounces. No, we're not really bouncing, but little pulses to open up the hips. And let's bring that other leg forward again. We're going to cut that in half. And bring the right leg or the opposite leg back again. Cut in half. Back to our plank. Pushing back into downward facing dog. And we're going to step forward with the right. Step forward with the left. Come on up to stand. Inhale up. Exhale, fold, forward fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, back to your plank position. This time, take your right leg up into a one-legged dog. Get a good stretch. Open up through that hip. Bring that leg forward. Just a few little bounces again here. And we're gonna bring that leg back. We're going to bring the other leg up, opening up through the hip into a one-legged dog. Bring that leg forward, a few little bounces here in the hip. Bring that leg back to your plank. Push yourself into a downward facing dog. Step forward with the right, step forward with the left. Inhale up again. Exhale, forward fold. I get a nice bend in those knees. Inhale, half lift. Exhale to a plank. Lower yourself down. Upward facing dog. We're going to push back into down dog again. This time, pedal the heels. Really pushing through that chest. Bring the left leg forward or the right leg forward. Up. I'm going to face you this time. We're going to open up into a nice wide second position. Hands can come to hips. We have our knees not going over the toes. We 
in alignment with the first two big toes, starting with a couple of small pulses here, and then come on up, down, so we're doing larger range plies here. You can even add the arms, just to get the heart rate up a little bit more. Let's do two more, and then we'll do one more set of pulses. One, little pulses down. We're just getting the body nice and warm. We will do more pulse work in the lower body section to come. Hold here. Moving your arms out, you can come down into a nice forward fold. Open up, so I'm bringing my left hand up to the sky, opening up through the chest. Bring the left hand down, open up the right, taking a gaze at the ceiling. Try to keep those legs nice and straight. Bring the right hand down, bend the knees, walk the feet back together, slowly roll up to stand. Head is the last thing to come on up. Okay, so we're gonna work on lower body now. So we're gonna come to our sturdy surface, our bar, our counter, top in our chair. We're going to start in a parallel position with the feet. So we're grounding down through all, all four toes. We're keeping everything in nice alignment from the ears to the shoulders to the hips. A nice neutral spine here, a nice neutral pelvis. My pants are gonna keep riding up and down, so you'll see me adjusting the entire time. We're gonna come down into a nice squat position. So I want you to come down, bend the knees, keeping the belly nice and tight. Come down a little bit lower, and this is your work zone. So we're just going to start here by, we're gonna come down and up. So I never want you to come fully up. We're staying in that work zone here. Down, up, good, down, up. If you want, you can even come up onto releve, onto those toes, or you can stay flat-footed, it's up to you. Up, let's do four more. Three, two, one. Stay low and give me little pulses here. So if you're up on releve, you're pushing through the balls of your feet. If you are on flat feet, you are pushing through all four, four points of those toes. Let's do six, five, four, three, two. Give me a nice hold here. Maybe even bring your hands to prayer position. And release. So we're going to do that again. So we're going to come down into first position, par excuse me, to parallel, and we're going to just lower, lift, lower, lift. So the breath on this is to inhale on the drop and exhale on the up. Lower, lift, inhale, exhale, lower, lift, inhale, exhale, lower, lift, inhale, exhale. Lower. You can bring your arm out to the side if you want to. Let's do four, three, two, one. Stay low and pulse, pulse. I'm gonna come up on releve just to challenge my quads a little bit more. Pulse. Let's do eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And we can even hold here. Four, three, two. One, and come on up. So now we're gonna do the same. We're working the um, tops of the thighs in this whole series here. We're gonna bring our feet into a first position. So we're bringing the heels together, opening up into a little pizza pie shape here. And you can come up if you want to. If not, you can stay flat-footed. Come up on the toes, squeeze the heels together. We're gonna do the same series here. Come down to the work zone, lower. Ears, shoulders, hips all in alignment. Nice neutral spine, but we are making sure we're engaging those bellies, drawing those cores in nice and tight. Keeping that breath going. Let's do six, five, four, three, two, one. Drop low and pulse. Pulse, 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 pulse. pulse. We're almost there. We're gonna do this set again. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, come low and hold. You can just hold here. Maybe bring those hands to prayer. Breathe. Come on up. Drop for a second. Give yourself a, a minute to kind of release those muscles. We will stretch, don't worry. 
Back to that first position, back to that work zone. Feel the thighs. sure everything is in alignment and a nice steady breath here lift right, let's do one more set Eight, seven six light grip on that bar five four three two one stay low and pulse for eight seven six two sets five four three two one more set of eight seven, six, five, four, three, two, get ready to hold, maybe bring those hands to prayer, maybe bring them overhead, I'm going to keep mine here for balance, hold four, three, two, one, and release, Woo! starting to feel the thighs, the tops of the thighs, we will get the outside in the back, trust me, we're going to come out to our nice wide second position here, so my feet are wider than shoulder distance apart, and I am making sure that my knees are staying behind those toes to keep them nice and safe. So we're just going to come down to that work zone again. Lower, lift, lower, lift. So about two to three inch drop here. Again, arm can come out to the side in a nice second position. So we do 16 counts of everything. So you may hear me counting a lot just to stay honest here. Or else I could end up doing 32 by accident. Eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, a little drop. Two sets. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two more set. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Let's give our muscles a chance to shake out and release for a second before we do one more set of those. So it's always important. And we will get the stretch after this set that we always lengthen after we strengthen. Okay. Back down to a nice wide second. You can even come up on releve if you want to. We're gonna do those two to three inch drops. I call them full range. And then we'll follow up with some nice pulses here. Kind of keep those shoulders away from the ears. Nice neutral spine here. We are drawing the belly in, keeping those abs engaged because the core is gonna keep us balanced. It's our powerhouse. Eight, seven, six, you got this. Five, four, three, two, last one here, and drop, drop. Little drops, pulses. We're almost done with those thighs. Pulse, pulse. Then we're gonna get outer thighs. Let's do eight, seven, six. You can always drop the heels. Five, four, three, two, one, give me a hold here. Bring those hands to prayer. Find your balance. Maybe drop a little lower. Hold four, three, two, one. Release and shake. The tops of my thighs are on fire. I hope yours are too. So now we're gonna come and do some outside thigh work. Let's get a quick little stretch in the quads first. Because they are burning. So the tops of those thighs should be Pretty heated. <laughs> they should be on fire. All right, so we are now going to work the outside of the thigh. This is a move from the original Lottie Burke class. So we're going to work the outside thigh first, and then um, I'm going to move my bar over, but you can always turn around so to however you're positioned. So this one's called, um, called standing tall. So we're actually going to keep a nice Straight leg in both legs, bring your arm out to the side, and we're going to push the weight through this leg here, and we're just going to tap up and down, tap the floor here. Really carefully, lightly lift, resting on that bar, arm out to the side, just lift and lower. Keeping the breath control. Let's do eight, seven, six, five, four, three, Two, one, and now lift. So we got a nice straight leg here and both legs, little pulses, little lifts. Really pointing through the toe, maybe even reaching over to the side because we're getting the outside here. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Little circles forward for eight, seven, six, five, 
four, three, two, one, eight, reverse circles, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, keep the leg nice and long and strong and hold, maybe give me a happy foot, and we're just going to lean and hold, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, so now I felt my um, inside leg starting to bend, so I'm really going to try to keep a nice straight leg behind that leg, um, because this, the point is to keep both legs tall, straight and standing tall. Okay, nice deep breath in, soft micro bend in that inside knee though is fine, keeps the joint safe. Okay, arm can come out to the side, can stay on hip, we're just going to tap and lift. Floor off is what Lottie used to say and what Esther still says now, floor off. Nice and slow and controlled, leg coming from straight out from the hip, nice and straight behind that knee, floor off. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Little lifts up. up, up. Remember, we do 16 sets of everything. It's 16 counts. If it's too much, you can always stop, reset your form, and rejoin me. Let's do eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Eight circles forward. Eight, seven. Six, five, four, three, two, one, eight circles back. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hold as high as you can. Give me that happy foot, which is a flex foot. Maybe leaning over to the side, getting a little waist work here. Hold for four, three, two, one. Release. Give yourself a stretch through that side. You. So let's do some calf work and we'll get a calf stretch after that as well. So first for calf work, let's start with the feet in parallel position. So approximately hip distance apart. You want to keep nice and straight through that um, head here and through the back. And we're just going to come up to the balls of our feet and we're just going to lower down. Not touching the floor, just kind of hovering here. So lift, lower, lift, lower. Good. Keeping a nice strong um, torso, shoulders away from the ears, and imagine you're balancing a book on your head here. Lift and lower, and we're going to do little pulses at the top. Ready? Pulse, 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 little pulses here, squeezing the calves for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, hold here. See if you can maybe take one or both hands off the bar to prayer and release down. Now we're going to do first position. So bring those heels together. Toes are going to come out to the side and we're going to lift and we're going to bring the heels together and we're just going to lower down and lift up. So we're on the balls of the feet trying to stay nice and tall through that torso here. We're going to pump up, up, up. Big lifts here and then we'll do the little pulses. Do another count of eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Now we're going to do little pulses at the top to so try to stay up nice and high. You just do little pulses here. Pulse, 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 pulse. One more set of eight. Ready? Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Hold here, maybe bring the hands into prayer. Really squeezing through the entire leg, front and back. Down, and now we're gonna take that into second position. So what you're gonna do is step your feet out so that they're a little bit wider than shoulder hip distance apart. We're gonna come up to the balls of our feet, and we're just gonna like kiss the ground, barely, and come back up. Two sets of eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, Seconds at eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Hold here at the top. Maybe bring the hands to prayer. Squeezing through those legs. Hold four, three, two, one. Release down. And let's give ourselves a nice calf stretch. So it doesn't matter. Just do one leg at a time. Just I'm bringing my right leg behind me and getting my heels to the floor. Doing a nice stretch through the back of that leg. And then we're going to 
Beautiful. So let's go into our glute work now. So we've worked the tops of the thighs, we've worked the outside of the thighs, we've started working the back of the thighs, and we have worked the calves. Now we're going to work the backs of the thighs here. So I'm going to bring my, um, my right leg forward, my left leg back into a lunge here. So all we're going to do is stand nice and tall. I'm just going to lower and lift. So I'm not touching my knee to the ground, but I'm getting it as close as I can. Up, keeping the shoulders away from the ears. And I'm pop popping my front foot into releve, but you can keep it flat if you want. Let's do one more set of eight, then we pulse. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, come low and pulse. I'm gonna pop my front heel up here. Pulse. One more set. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Now that worked the quads a little bit. Let's work glutes a little bit more by leaning forward slightly. Same thing, but we're gonna lean forward and you should feel it in the glute a little bit more. So full range for eight, seven, Five, four, three, two. Let's do one more set of full range. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Now pulse it. So I'm going to really lean on this with two sets of eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. One more set. Eight, seven, six. Five, four, three, two, and one. Step the feet together, and we're gonna reverse sides. Okay, same thing, now my left leg is forward. We're gonna do the ones where we're standing more upright to start, and we're just gonna lower and lift, lower. Lift, I'm gonna pop my heel up and releve for these last four, and then we're gonna do another set of eight. Three, two, one, let's do eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, little pulses down. Two sets of eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, last set, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, nice job. So now let's lean forward to get the glutes just a little bit more. Remember to keep everything nice and tight through that torso. We're gonna lower, lift, full range. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one more set of eight. Eight, seven, six, five, Four, three, two, last big one here, little pulses, really leaning down. Two sets, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, last set, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. My front leg is a shaken. <laughs> Woo, nice. Give ourselves a tiny little figure four because we do have more glute work coming up. So I'm gonna start with my right leg. We're just gonna do three exercises on the right leg, full range and pulse, and then we're gonna reverse and I'll swap my bar so you can see the left leg. So let's work right leg first. Your bones are nice and square to that bar, and we're about an arm's distance away. Nice angle back here. Just tap and lower. My inside leg has a soft bend, my supporting leg. We're just doing full range here, our best lifts. Really squeezing through that glute, through that hamstring, working the back of the leg. Eight, and we pulse. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Little pulses up, two sets. Eight, seven, six, five, four, one more set, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Now hamstring curl, so 
So bend and extend, nice and slow and controlled, getting the back of that leg, keeping that core nice and tight, keeping those shoulders away from those ears. Bend, extend, bend, extend. Get a nice squeeze there. We're going to do one more set of eight of these. Eight, seven, you can use that supporting leg. Five, four, then we're going to pulse. Three, two, one. Little pulses. Imagine you have a ball there. You're just doing little squeezes here. Squeeze. One more set after we do four. Three, two, let's do one more set. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Nice. Now bring the knee in. And bring it up, and up, and up. So really get a nice squeeze on the glutes and on the core here. So it's core, glutes, core, really round, glutes, core, glutes, core, really point the toe. One more set. Eight, seven, we're using a lot of control here. Six. Five, remember that breath. Four, three, we have pulses after this. Then we switch legs, two, and one. Little tail raise, pulses. Just pulse, 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 good. Little lifts toward the ceiling like you're poking the ceiling with that toe. One more set, ready? Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Woo! We'll get that stretch <laughs> out, I promise. Heart rate should be up as mine is. All right, so now I'm just switching my bar around so I can do the left glute. So we are starting with the feet in parallel. Soft bend in the standing leg. The leg we need to work is stand nice and strong and straight behind us. Our hip bones are shining toward our bar. We're just going to lift and lower. Here you should be feeling it in the glute. You need a glute max. You need to get it all. Full range. Lift. Tap. Lift. Tap. Lift. Tap. Let's do four more. Three. Two. One more set of eight. Then we pulse. Eight. Seven. Six. Five, four, three, two, one, two sets of eight. Pulses. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one more set. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Now we're going to do hand curls. Remember, we bend and extend. Bend, Dead. Trying to keep a light grip on that bar, keeping the shoulders away from those ears, keeping that core nice and engaged. Extend that supporting leg is getting some work, so there should be a soft bend there. We've got one more set coming up. Let's do eight more, then we pulse. Eight. Then we get a good squeeze. Seven. Slower emotions hurt when they work more, they're harder. Four, we're trying not to use momentum. Three, two, last one here, and just two, two sets of eight squeezes. Eight, seven, six, point through that toe. Five, four, three, two, one more set. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Bring the knee in and up. Crunch on the abs. One more set here, then we just do pulses and we get a stretch. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Now a little tail, we 
squeezes. Two sets of eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two. Last set. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. We can figure four. One leg, I'm pressing my left over my right and sitting into those glutes and hips. And switch. Pressing right over left, sitting into the hips. Now I'm going to bring both legs to the floor and I'm going to bend one knee. So I'm bending my right knee and straightening my left. And switch. And switch. And switch. Maybe bring both hands to the ground. Bend both knees. Straighten. Bend. And straighten. Bend. Roll up to stand. Head is the last thing to come on up. So we are going to work the arms, the upper body now. So grabbing a light set of weights. I'm going to use two and a half myself today. Um, you can use anywhere from one to five pounds. I wouldn't recommend using five pounds if this is your first time. You can even use no weights. It's completely up to you. So, um, also grabbing a drink of water if you need one at any point in time. I'm actually going to grab one myself because um, it starts getting hot up here. Okay, hydration. So, we are going to work shoulders, biceps, triceps, chest, back. And Again, we're going to do the same format, about 16-16, for everything that you see. If at any point in time you start to feel your form going off a little bit, drop the weights, reset your form, drop to a lower weight if you need to. Um, I just want you to make sure that you're maintaining proper form the entire time. So we're going to stand with a soft bend in our knees. Um, we're going to start with the arms out to the side, and we're just going to do little pulses up here. Soft bend in the elbows is fine. Two sets of eight. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Last set. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Now let's flip the palms so the pinkies are up. Same set. Two sets. Eight, seven, six, five, four. Shoulders away from ears. Soft bend in knee. Belly is tight. Last set here. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Bring the shoulders to bring the arms to gold plus position. And we're just going to extend and then bend back to 90. Up, back. And I apologize if I'm getting cut off here. I'm just trying to get every angle as I can, but trust me, they're going up, back to 90. Up and back. So really feeling nice and strong here. Getting those shoulders involved. Soften in the knees. Nice tight core. Let's do eight more and then we pulse. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Now keep the arms here, just little lifts up. Two sets of eight, seven, six, long neck, five, four, three, Two last set. Eight, seven, six. And remember, we're keeping that soft bend in the knee. Four, two, and one. Bring the hands together. I'm going to turn to the side so you can see. And we're just going to pulse up here. Little pulses up. My elbows, you can keep them nice and squeezed closed. It does make it harder. We are going to open and close the elbows momentarily. Let's do eight, seven, six, five, four, Two. Now we're going to open, squeeze. So I'm keeping the weight as high as I can. Open, squeeze. Do you feel this in the shoulders, biceps, triceps, maybe in the chest a little bit? So I'm just opening, squeezing. Little prayer pulses here. Open. Let's do one more set. Eight, seven, six, five, four. Wow, that, anytime again, like I said, feel free to reset. Now we're gonna do chest squeezes here. So squeeze and open. So imagine there's a wall behind you that you're hitting. So just open to that wall here. Squeeze the chest, 
open the arms, squeeze, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, Ooh, I can feel my shoulders, good thing that we're doing biceps next, one more set, then we pulse, eight, seven, six, five, four, keeping those cores nice and tight, drawing those abs up and in, three, two, get ready to squeeze, one, like you're squeezing a balloon between your chest. Two sets. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one more. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. So give those shoulders a second to release and relax before we move to biceps. Just roll them out, let the blood flow through them. Okay, let's work biceps. So I'm going to be keeping my arms nice and long here. Closer they add to my body, the easier it is. So we want to get them nice and long. And we're just going to bend and extend. Again, keeping those shoulders away from the ears. Keeping those knees nice and softly bent. Keeping that belly nice and tight. Shoulders traveling down the back. So get a nice squeeze on those biceps. We're going to do one more set of eight, then we pulse. Eight. Seven. Six, five, four, three, two, one. So keep the arms out here and just little lifts up, little pulses. Feeling the biceps, feeling the front of the shoulders, just a little one inch movement, tiny pulse. Trying to use the muscles and not momentum here. Just keep the muscles engaged. So eight, seven, six, five, Two and one. You can release for a second. We're going to do W curls. So I'm out to the side and we're going to bend and extend. Again, keeping a nice long lever here. Making sure we're keeping the arms away from the body because if it's too close to the body, it's too easy. We want the long lever, which is why I recommend a low weight because we are doing lots of reps here. really want to work on using our muscle and not momentum to the work. Let's do another set. Eight, seven. So we're just balancing out all aspects of the body here with this autumnal equinox bar workout. Four, three, two, one. Keep the little W and just do little lifts here, little pulses. We're just doing two sets of 16 of everything. One set of 16. Last set of eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Now we're going to do hammer curls, okay? So it's similar to the first one we did, except this time I'm putting my weights so that the tops of the weights are facing the ceiling. But we're doing the same thing. Long lever, soft bend, shoulders away from ears, front of the head to ceiling. Four, nice and tight, working those biceps. This is the last bicep exercise we're doing, and then we're moving into triceps. And we will need to do push-ups as well to get one more chest exercise in. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Keep the weights here, just pulse. Pulse, little pulses up, pulse, pulse, pulse. I'm going to do one more set so you can see. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Release those arms, shake them out. Okay, we are going to do triceps, um, three exercises or so a piece. I'm going to bring my left leg forward. I like to just do a little kickstand, and if you lean into it a bit, you'll get glute work too. But I find that it keeps me honest um, if I stay here in a kick stand position. We are going to switch legs halfway through. So let's start with some nice kickbacks. So we're going to kick back, get forward. Really engaging the tricep, which is the muscle at the back of the arm. And I'm putting most of my weight on that front leg here. Back leg is just supporting my weight very lightly. So it's like a 75-25% split as far as weight goes. So really get a good squeeze. Let's do eight more. Seven, six, five, 
five, four, three, two, last one. I always like to bring it forward and then straighten it out. We're just gonna clap. Imagine we're clapping those weights together behind us. Really try to control the rebound here. And work on the tops of those arms and feel the shoulders working. Little clap, clap, clap. Let's do one more set of eight. Five, four, three, two, keep the weights as they are and do a one inch lift, down, up, down. So you should be feeling the glute on that front leg kicking in, lift, lower, lift, lower. Nice and straight through those arms, nice and straight through the back. Trying to keep the gaze neutral, about four feet in front of that front foot. Eight, eight, let me switch sides. Seven, six, five, Four, three, two, one. Switch legs. Keep the arms up if you can. Kick backs again. So we can do the same three exercises. This time the right leg is forward or whatever leg you were uh, just using behind. Bring forward here. Bending, extend. So we're getting a nice contraction in those triceps. Keeping the belly nice and tight away from that thigh. 75-25% weight split here. One more set. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Now, this time, put the palms up to the ceiling and do the little claps here. I'm trying to stay nice and tall through my back, keeping my belly nice and engaged. It always falls out. I'm very guilty of that. So, my reminder is really to myself. Let's do one more set. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Last one here, little lifts. Up and down, one inch. Up and down. Those arms nice and straight. Lift and lower. Keep the gaze nice and neutral. Maybe sitting down into that front leg a little bit more. Getting a little extra glute work here. Eight more. Seven, six. Five, four, three, two, and one. Hold it up if you can, and release. I'm gonna put my weights aside, give my arms a little bit of a shake. We do have tricep dips and chest um, push-ups left, so we will stretch after we finish those. So let's come on down for our tricep dips. I'm gonna remain on my bottom. However, you can come up into tabletop for this, and I do like to angle my hands out because I feel like it helps me engage my shoulders a little bit more. So if you want to progress this and come up to tabletop, it would be here. And you would lower and lift. So you want to make sure you're putting a lot of weight on the front of the body. I find that if I do it seated, I get a little bit more. So we're going to go back and push forward. And you can even put the arms, my hands are better forward if I'm sitting. So coming back, push forward. Back and push. So we're working the triceps. So get a bend and then use those arms to push yourself forward. Bend, extend. And we're going to do eight more full range. Let me pulse. Eight, then we hold. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Come up, little pulses back. Let's do two sets of eight, seven, Six, really pushing the weight um, back on those arms. One more set here. Let's do eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Give me a four count hold. Four, three, two, one. And we're going to do another set of big ones. Down and up. And, and extend. Now, if you're up here, I like to sometimes put my feet up to the ceiling just to make sure I'm getting a little bit of extra weight on my upper body. Let's do six more. Five, four, three, two, one. Come back and two sets of eight pulses. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Last set here. Then we hold eight, seven, Five, four, three, two, 
Hold here for four, three, two, one, and release. Give those arms a little shake. I promise we are going to stretch them out. We're going to do um, two sets of push-ups. So you can do them on the floor or on your bar. Um, I don't think my bar is strong enough to hold me, so I'm going to do them on the floor. And I always do them on my knees just because I feel like I get a better uh, range of motion and a better, um, just an overall better experience. But you can always do them up on your toes. So we are going to do two sets here. So we're going to do full range to start. My arms are a little bit wider than shoulder width, and I'm spreading out my fingers nice and wide. Trying to keep that belly engaged and the shoulders pressing back together. I'm going to lower and left. Lower. Keeping the gaze out slightly in front of my hands. Let's do one more set of full range, then we pulse. Anytime you need to, take a break. These are hard. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Now come low and pulse for two sets. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Last set here, then we hold. Eight, seven, six, five, Four, three, two, come low, give me a hold. Really pushing through the palms of the hands, keeping that core nice and engaged. Hold four, three, two, one. Bring yourself back into a child's pose. Stretch. All right, we are gonna do that same thing one more time. So if you have a wall or a bar, you can do the second set on there to kind of alleviate a little bit of pressure. Otherwise, you can do them on the floor, and you can do them on your knees or on your toes. So, we're going to do 16 full range to start. 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, Five, four, three, two, last one. Now we're gonna do two sets of eight pulses. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, last set. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Give me a hold here, hold, hold, four, three, two, one, push back. Give yourself a stretch in child's pose. Maybe flipping the palms up to the ceiling, feeling a deeper stretch through the arms. Okay, so let's give our poor arms a stretch. <laughs> we can come to a seated position here, whatever's comfortable for you. I'm gonna take my right arm, draw it across my chest, keeping my shoulder away from my ear, Taking my gaze over my shoulder and giving my arm a nice tug. Now bring that arm behind the head, grabbing onto the elbow, leaning to the side, taking the gaze up to the ceiling if you can. And let's get that bicep. So I like to extend my arm and I am double jointed so you will see my arm bend quite a bit and I will mention it probably in every single workout because I don't want people to think my arm is breaking. And release, let's do the opposite arm, pulling it across your chest, bringing your gaze over your shoulder. And bring this arm behind the head, tugging on the arm. Maybe easing up to the ceiling if you can. And let's give ourselves a bicep stretch here. And you can flip the fingers if you give yourself a couple of little arm swings here, or maybe roll the shoulders back. We will do a little bit more arm stretching at the end of the workout. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to do some core and mat work. So we are going to work the glutes and the abs at the same time. And bridges are a perfect way to do that. So I'm going to angle my body so you can see we're going to start in a nice C curve. Let's roll on down to our backs here. 
We want to make sure that our feet are hip distance apart and that our heels are just, they're just grazing the, the um, tops of our middle fingers. So we're just going to keep our arms nice and long and strong, bringing our hips up so that we have a nice long line here. We're just going to lower and lift. So we just kiss the ground and lift. Lower and lift. So feel the abs also engaged in bridges. So I want you to imagine, you know, you have a corset on, it's tying itself nice and tight. And so we're squeezing the buns on the way up, but we're also engaging the abs as we do so. Bridges are some of my favorite exercises. And if you want to um, increase the intensity, you can always come up on Releve on those toes. Lower, lift, lower and lift. Four more. Three, two, one. Come to the top, little pulses for eight, seven, six, five, four, you know where we're going with this. One more set. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Now just do the left hip. Pulse it to the side. Just left hip. Left, 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 left. You can even drop the heels if you want. Left, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Let's go to the right now. Eight, two sets of eight. We're getting the obliques too. You'll feel your side working in addition to that right butt cheek. Keep squeezing. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And maybe we're going to do eight more, uh, two sets of eight pulses just to finish here before we widen the legs and get the glute in. Pulse, pulse, pulse. I also sometimes keep my hands on my hip bones just to make sure they're nice and straight. Last set. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Give me a hold here. Really squeezing those glutes together. Tightening through that core. Hold four, three, two, one. Don't bring the bottom down. Open the legs wider than your mat. And we're going to lower and lift. Lower, lift. So we lower. If you want to, you can come up on Releve, it's up to you. I find that even staying flat-footed in this position really gives me the glute activation that I'm looking for in the core as well. Let's do eight more. Seven, six, five, four, three, two. Last big one here, give me pulses up. Love bridges because first of all you get to lay down and second of all you're really working some important parts of the core parts of your body that maintain your balance here one more set of eight seven six five four three two give me a hold really squeeze maybe come up to releve on those toes but you just squeeze everything in even imagining that your inner thighs are squeezing hold four Two, one, release down, bring those knees in, just give yourself a little stretch. We are going to move into some abdominal work now. So I want you to keep your knees on the floor bent at 90. I want you to bring that low back toward the ground, really pushing the abs up and down. And imagine you're tightening your tightest jeans here. Bring the hands behind the head. We're going to lift, look at the belly button, and lower. Lift, lower. So really... Exhaling on the lift, inhale on the lower. Exhale, inhale. That'll help engage the core a little bit more. Exhale, inhale. Let's do six more, and then we pulse. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Little pulses. So I'm looking at my belly button, keeping my low back on the ground, keeping my arms nice and wide. Let's pulse for eight, seven, Five, four, three, two, release down. Bring the right leg up to 90, the left leg up to 90. And we're just going to do little toe taps here. So you're working really nice and slow, feeling the low abs kicking in as well as the upper abs. You can even lift your head, neck, and shoulders off the floor if you want to add a little bit more intensity to this. Otherwise, lying down is just as works just as well to engage the entire core. Doing little toe taps here. Let's do four, three, two, and one. Keeping the knees at 
at 90. Bringing the hands to your side. We're gonna do little hip lifts. So lift, hips, and down. So little reverse crunches, little hip lifts to get those low abs. Lift, lower. Try and keep that low back down on the ground. And I'm keeping my arms by my sides. We are going to add arms to this. Progress it. You can also do straight legs, but I do bent knees. That feels best on my body. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Keep the knees where they are, the legs where they are. Keep the hands behind the head. Now we're going to crunch up toward that lift. So same lift. We're going to add a crunch. My gaze at my belly button, keeping those abs engaged up and in toward the spine. One more set here. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Bring both feet down. Give yourself a little bit of a rest. We're going to work the obliques with a couple of different moves here. So I want you to bring your head, neck, and shoulders up. You can bring one hand behind the head if you want to, or you can bring both hands out to the side. With your left hand, I want you to reach to your toes here, so we're getting the side. And if your head, your neck starts to get heavy, you can always support it with the opposite hand. You can gaze at the belly button, trying to reach those pinkies toward those toes. Eight more, then we switch sides. Seven, six, five, four. One and switch sides. Go to the opposite side. Really getting those obliques sides of the abs. I find my neck feels better if I do support it. Otherwise, you can't be full up. One more set. Seven. Six, five. Four. Back down for a sec, give that head a rest. We are going to do some little twists to the side. So I'm going to do my right arm first. You can see, I'm going to lift my head, neck, and shoulders. I'm going to bring my arm to the side and just twist. 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 It's too much to lift the head, neck, and shoulders. You should keep the head, neck, and shoulders up. Just support with your head out here, pushing the weight of your head. Seven. Five, four, three, two, one. Come center, switch. Left hand twists to the right. With a little move here, targeting the obliques, the upper abs. We're going to repeat those same moves one more time. Now that you're familiar with them, we can go through them a little bit more quickly. Let's do the crunches here. Lift and lower. I'll count you down for the last eight here. Seven, six, five, four, three, two little pulses here. Two sets of eight. I'll count you down the last eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Head comes down, right leg to 90, left leg to 90, and toe tap. I'll count you down, last set here. Eight, seven, six, five, four, one, hip lifts, legs at 90, lift. Lie down. Seven, six, five, four, three, two. Now we're going to add the crunch in. Hands behind the head and lift both. Last set. Eight, seven, six, 
seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Bring it down. Give yourself a minute to stretch. All right, for a little oblique work here, we're going to do the reaches first. Swap hands. Last set. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Last move are little twists. Carefully 
walk your hands up your legs. You're gonna inhale up, exhale. I want you to bring your right hand to your left leg and then bring your left hand left hand in front of that, really pulling down, feeling a nice stretch through the side, trying to go as low as you can, and you can, like I said, do little fold overs, or you can just hold. We're trying to keep everything in balance here in our autumn equinox bar workout. You work every aspect of your body, every side, every plane of motion. Balance is what is all about. Walk your hands up your thighs. Inhale up, exhale, go to the right side. Bring your left hand down. Right hand can go nice and long and strong. And again, I like to do fold overs myself, but you can just hold. Do what works for you. side and back of the legs, work the calves, work the front side and lower part of the abs, work the back, work the chest, work the shoulders, we work the biceps, we work the triceps, we got it all. Walking up carefully, bringing the feet together. Up, exhale, fold, grabbing wherever you can. And again, you can do little fold overs or just hold. balanced throughout your entire body and I hope to see you again sometime soon.